Most times it's in mid-summer, about July, it starts when you start having trouble with it. Because it starts trying to find something to eat. It starts trying to get out and go, go places and it migrates. It migrates from different places. It, it, most usually down here in Oklahoma, whenever it's, time, whenever it's time for it to happen, people start losing animals. And they took off walking down and they got to, they got to a dark, dark pitch and my mom told my brother to go back to the house because he had fallen down there. And well, as he was walking back, he, he could sound just like that thing, whatever, whatever it is, he sounds just like it. He don't do it anymore because last time, he, last time he did it, he almost got my mom and them got. And they could hear it coming off that hill, screaming back at my brother. My mom told my brother to get his ass back to the damn house before he got him got. And so he took off hollering just like it still and he finally shut up. And they got, they took off up the hill. My mom told my aunt, whatever you do, don't run. Cause if, most usually if you run, it'll get you. And so they, they walked kind of fast and got to what we call the silver gate. And when they got to that silver gate, my aunt and my mom took off running. And they got to, to my grandma's house and walked inside and told my, told my uncle, well, he's like my uncle after my grandpa died. Before my grandpa died, he promised my grandpa he'd take care of my grandma. And so he went down the road with the 12-gauge shotgun. He lives down there in Salisaw now. And anyways, and he and he went, he went come down and he told him, he goes, y'all want the man off the hill? Y'all go up there and get him your damn self because that ain't no man. We moved down here in a trailer house about two, it was about two years later. And my dad, he had a walker dog named Radler. And there was something, I, we don't, I don't know what it was. And I was just little that my, that dog had pinned on the creek. We, the trailer house we lived in, we didn't have a back door on We just had a, what we called a car hood. We had a car hood leaning up against the back door. And right past the back door was where, we, where me and my brother slept. My mom had went and got it because she had heard it going around the house scratching on the um, trailer house. And anyway, and we got it. We got my mom had went and got us and put us in the front room with her. And whatever it was, pissed all over that door. And my that dog, he was hitting that chain so hard trying to keep it from getting us and my mom. It broke that chain and chased it to a creek and pinned it on it. That dog had disappeared for two weeks and had come back. And when it come back finally, its legs and stuff was all tore up, its ears, its body. It was it was messed up and dad had to keep him in the house for a while. And they had went to go do something with his coon dogs. And my mom and them was left here by themselves. Left at the house by themselves and they was they where where their, my grandma's bathroom is, there's a there used to be a back door there. And they had, they had all heard a cow outside, what they thought was a cow, so they went out there to check on it. And they were standing at the back door, and they seen something out there with, with them color of eyes, and they stood up. And my aunt went in the house and got a shotgun. My aunt Dottie and my mom and my aunt Doris, they was hold, my mom was, my aunt Doris was holding my aunt Dottie up, and she shot it about midsection. And whenever, whenever it hit, it pissed it off, and a big old ball a fire or whatever it was come out of it and just disappeared and it took off running down the creek you could hear it hollering. It it just sounds weird when it hollers and it got it got over here over to a house over here by Greasy and it tore the whole corner of the house off. And I have he's he's like my cousin, his name was Johnny and back back long time ago he was him and his brother Roger and a couple of other of their brothers they used to live kind of like on a hog farm. They had like a hog farm deal, and they raised hogs. And that thing had about three hogs, and they had it cornered, nowhere for it to go. They got there, and it had warped all of them off of it. And they were shooting at it with some high-powered rifles. And there's been people come down from places that's big-time hunters and try to hunt it. So far, they've they've used everything and not be able to shoot nothing, not even be able to kill it. The closest it's come to being killed is being pissed off whenever my aunt and them shot it. But whenever you hear it, you, it sounds kind of like a bear, a goat, a calf, and a cat all at the same time. And it's you just have to hear it for yourself. I can't explain it. But what it, what it is, all it is is curious. Some people say it's a lost Indian tribe. Some people say it's a missing link. 
whatever it is, no, you'll never know. The way you'll find out is see it for yourself. Oh, it's about eight foot, nine foot tall, hair, long, thick wool, like brown hair. It has red eyes, its eyes are about as big around as one of the big cigars, that old color of red. And you just never see it. It's hard to find, especially if you're looking for it. I'm this is I'm Derek Green, about I'm about fifteen years old and this is something that's happened to my family for generations. Oh, <laughs> 